What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppin' dope nation? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panna, and today I am doing a postpartum alopecia transformation and this beautiful client here is my cousin she has been living with her condition for 16 years now and she typically wears wigs and just really wanted to switch it up so she hit me up she said that she wanted to try something new and she was down to let me record it so I'm super excited to share where she's at in her journey with you guys so originally I wanted to do lemonade braids which is a go-to for clients who are experiencing hair loss but after really analyzing the top of her head a lot of those hair follicles up there are already damaged and I really just didn't want to cause any unnecessary tension where that part would be for the lemonade braids so I decided to go with a box braid crown what you guys see me doing in the back here is um, her hair grows down really far down her neck and she was like just shave it off I said no baby girl we just gonna mold it up okay because it like didn't get thicker until really high up so i felt like if i shaved it off it would look kind of crazy in the back so i just kind of molded that hair up and i'm going to be trying to get as much of that into the box braid as i can what i can't fit in i will make sure that i like mold down with got to be glued spray and you guys will see that at the end So because she has alopecia, I am just being mindful of the amount of tension that I am putting on her hair, especially around the front of the hairline. I'm going to make sure that she holds on to those braids just so that she doesn't feel any extra pulling or tugging of any sort. Um, but you just want to check with the comfortability of your client. A lot of times I ask them, is it too tight? Does it feel okay? Do you feel any tension? And most of the time they're okay. Um, I just like literally hate doing videos on stuff like this because people always say, oh, you braid too tight, you braid too tight. Just because something is secured to the scalp does not mean that it's too tight. And regardless, I don't think anybody wants to pay to have loose braids. So um, because she has alopecia, like I said, I am going to be mindful of the tension that I'm using. But yeah, you just check with the comfortability of your client around the edges and the hairline. I do make sure that I let them hold it um but also these videos are sped up so i feel like it looks like i'm kind of going in right now but this is like sped up eight times the original speed so you do want to take your time and just make sure that you're not pulling or doing any type of tugging on those troubled areas So when I get on the hairline, I'm going to braid these in the direction that they will be pulled up and that will just help to prevent that hair that is in the braid from being twisted or manipulated any further and it'll ease the pain when it's pulled up in a ponytail because it's already going to be a little tight so you just don't want to have to twist any braids around to kind of get it into that style that you want it to be in. As you guys can see, she has a lot of hair loss in the front of her hair, so I'm gonna try to do as many box braids as I can that will really cover the area as best as it can, but sometimes you do have to be realistic with your client. I let her know that this may be something in the front that we have to sew together um, to make sure that we cover, but you just do your best to cover whatever you can, but right at the top of her crown, you guys can see that that area there is very, very sparse, and I'm not really gonna put any box braids in that area because of that, um, so I am going to to do my best to fill up this front area and try to cover that up as best as I can. Because we're just doing a crown, I'm gonna do my best to fit in two to three rows in the rest of the areas. I think in the back, I may have done three rows. Along the sides, I did two, and then in the top, I pretty much have two.
So the rest of the hair that is not going into the braided ponytail can kind of just be braided down. So I just went ahead and moisturized that and braided that down so that it's out the way. Her hair is actually really, really short, so it's kind of hard to braid, but it will pretty much be out of the way anyway. And then I'm just going to go through and do all the finishing touches. So before I mousse her hair, I am going to dip it first and then put it up in the style, and then that's when I'll mousse it. So here I'm going to be pulling her hair up. I did my best to bricklay all of my parting. Um, that will just help ensure that you can cover everything up. And I'm just going to pull everything up. And like I said, if you braid it in the direction that you are going to be pulling the ponytail up, it will make it a lot easier and a lot less painful on your client. I also really love the hair that I'm using today. I will make sure I link it in the description section. I am using the pre-stretched Rua hair. This is actually my first time ever using it, but I've seen a lot of braiders say really good things about it. So I was really excited that the beauty supply by my house finally had it and I could give it a try. One thing that I really loved about it for this style is the hair is super light and it's really, really soft. And I know that hair that feels soft on my fingers will feel soft on my client's head. So I'm really excited um, that I got to try this out, especially on her, because I think that this hair was perfect for the style. So though I did wrap it in a bun, I didn't want to sew it or anything because she said that she might actually wear it down as well. So I didn't go ahead and sew that bun, but I am going to be molding up that back section that we talked about in the beginning. So basically I just used a little bit of the product that I'm using, the Shine and Jam, and molded that up. And then I used my Got To Be Glued spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray that down. And then I'll be using a styling strip to tie this all down. So for my finishing touches, I'm going to go in with some olive oil oil sheen and I'm also going to use Got To Be Glued Free Spray and just make sure that everything is sitting the way that I want it to sit. As always, I will link all the products that I use in the description section. I actually use a new braiding hair that I haven't used before. In this video, I use the Rua pre-stretch braiding hair, so I'll make sure that I link that for you guys below as well. And yes guys, this here is my finished look. She absolutely loved it. Like I said, something very different. You guys can see in the top crown there, um, it is a little thinner, but it's not super duper noticeable. So yes, I'm super excited with the way that this turned out. I would love to hear anyone's story in the comment section if you are someone who is struggling with any form of alopecia. Um, I would love to hear what type of styles you guys do. Like I said, I don't really have a large clientele of alopecia clients. Um, I have maybe a couple, but it's definitely not something that I super specialize in. So I would love to hear any feedback from you guys. As always, please keep the comment section respectful or it will be deleted and blocked and that's on period. Or, y'all know, like I always say, I go all the time in the world for a clap back, a clap back. <laughs> As always, guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs> what you mean? 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 What you mean?